The mask was a wonder. A wonder in that it gave many people security that they would not have otherwise. It gave them a sense that they were fighting those unseen spirits of sickness, especially the COVID-19. It was a thing that you could say all America was wearing. And many, many people still to this day wear it. They embrace the mask and they wear it proudly. I am one of those that also wear the mask. I want to obey those places that would require me to wear one so I would wear it. But there are others in society who would not agree with me. They hate the mask. They will not wear it. I'm not wearing your damn mask. Now I can understand why there are those that will not wear the mask. You do not want to be restricted from breathing. As you breathe in, you're breathing in the fresh oxygen and as you expel, you expel the poisons of your body in the form of carbon monoxide. The lungs and respiratory systems of our bodies allows us to breathe. They bring oxygen into our bodies called inspiration or inhalation and send carbon dioxide out called expiration or exhalation. The exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide is called respiration. Too much carbon dioxide retention can cause effects such as headaches, dizziness, and fatigue as well as serious complications such as seizures or loss of consciousness. We need to breathe, and we need to breathe fresh oxygen. Your physician would tell you that if you have too much, too much carbon dioxide in your blood, it can harm your organs. So when you're wearing the mask, you might be taking unnecessary risk. But it is a risk, nevertheless, that I chose to take. Now look at this older gentleman, the senior, wearing his mask, and he seems to be proud in doing it. Do you see the label on his mask? Do you see that he's using it as a tool to witness? A label easily fixed on the mask can become a great soul-winning tool or witness. Christians are told, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. And this gentleman, I like to pat him on his back, is wearing his mask and doing so for Jesus. Now, of course, if you haven't noticed, that gentleman is me. It is a selfie that I took today with my new labeled Mask. Now, I've made masks before, made it, and kind of drew a wording on a mask. But this, I believe, will be far greater, easier to see. Now, it may come within society that we may never, in some places, always be 
wearing a mask, being required to wear one. I did so one time hesitantly, but now I reconsidered that yes, I could do it. I could wear a mask in some situations, not at home, but while visiting a store, while being out in public. I could do it. And even though there may come a time where miraculously no one has to wear the mask, I think I would wear it. I'm going to wear it. By the strength of God, I'm going to wear it as a martyr would wear his cross. The trials and tribulation in life, the martyr will meet them head on. I did not ask to wear the mask, but now they will have to arrest me for wearing the mask. I will stick up for Jesus. I will put words on my mask that may offend, but I could care less. I was told to wear a mask, and I will wear a mask. Here are some examples of what I'll have on my mask like hell's hot and heaven's is perfect and Jesus saves. Pray to my mask because Jesus saves. Oh, those are just examples, but I can't wait. I can't wait to make more masks with my technological computer hooked to a printer. If my label should curl and fold, I'll glue it on. I'm not doing it for germ protection. I'm doing it as a witness. Glory be to God. I'll see you again. Bye now.